Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from the channel Red Lessons. I am in Brooklyn, New York today at my good friend Carlos's house. You guys know who this is. Hello. I'm going to leave his information down below. Great reviewer. And today we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Florist London. This one is called 7172 Turnbull and Aster. So stay tuned. This fragrance by Floris London was released in 2017, so it's really not that old of a scent. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of the newer releases. Don't have any information on who the perfumer is, uh, but it is called 7172 Turnbull and Asser. Um, it's named after the very popular custom clothier. They make bespoke clothing. Ah. And uh, they, are, they have two locations in London and one in New York City. And 7172 is their address on German Street. Cool, cool. So it's, uh, it's a collab. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. And it's sort of meant to convey that gentlemanly, classy, you know, suit and tie sort of a vibe. So this fragrance is really dominated by a couple of citrus notes. You have orange and bergamot. Gorgeous bottle. I love the gold accents, especially on the box as well. Um, I also want to show this. So um, it has a little pedestal on the inside. The bottle rests in there really comfortably. And then once you put this on there, you have this... Uh, so let's, yeah, so we have this flap, just covers the top here. I mean, really cool presentation. And uh, if you are interested in picking it up, I'm going to leave the links down below. Uh, this bottle was sent to me courtesy of Americas. Thank you so much for that. They are the uh, distributor for Flores products. And um, so we have citrus up on top. We have bergamot. We have a um, little bit of orange. We have some woodsy notes of, believe it or not, there's agarwood and incense in there. But the more concentrated notes, as far as what I'm picking up, are lavender and juniper berry. So, um, you're smelling this for the first time today, so this is more of like a first impression for you. Yeah, I've been yeah, wearing for sure. it for like a week now, but uh, what do you get from it? Citrus. Uh, citrus with a little bit of spiciness. Mm -hmm. Citrus with character, not a boring citrus, mm -hmm. and not a sharp citrus. I really am not a fan of those that try too hard to be citrusy and they come off as sharp to me, but this smells smooth. Yeah. It smells very gentlemanly for sure. Um, it's very crisp for lack of a better word. If it lasts, I love it. Yeah. So so it's definitely something that you would wear in like a suit and sure. tie. Very professional, or even, elegant. Even, or even to work. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. The longevity is not the best, right? So you're going to get about five hours with this That's... That's well, I know, but you know, if you're expecting 12 plus hours, and I have some fragrances in my collection that will last me a citrus? couple of days on skin, not citrus, no. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to come to the understanding that for a citrus based scent, it is comprised of a smaller molecular structure, so it's going to etherealize, and you're not going to get a scent that lasts. And I know there are a lot of fragrance primers out there, like canvas and concrete, you spray it on skin. I've heard about them, Wait, I haven't you... tried them myself, but um. If I find a link online, I'll I, I, put it down I've below, seen them. but um, yeah, so um, so with this scent, um. I think it's a rather simple scent. Uh, yeah. I definitely get a lot of the lavender, but it's not... I would have a hard time pinning it as a fougere. No. Yeah, because it doesn't smell like Caron Porunom or some of these other, like, lavender-heavy scents. You know what I mean? This is a pretty simple, uncomplicated fragrance. Agreed. Totally agree. There's a no-brainer. But, yeah. but it's not boring. Tell me if you agree with me. I would kind of put this in like, not that it smells like any of these fragrances, but in like Blue de Chanel, uh, Versace Dell and Blue territory, where it's like very easy to wear, classy, but with more of an emphasis on citrus and natural smelling. I'm sorry. No, you don't agree? No. <laughs> okay, cool. And that's, those, that's the beauty those, of it. Those have more of a... This isn't... This is, doesn't have a punchiness about it. It's not aggressive. Okay. Those others are a little aggressive. Not Dylan Blue, but yeah, yeah, Chanel yeah. Blue. Fresh and aggressive at the same time. This is uh -huh. laid back, calm. You know. You know what else is in here? I didn't mention it. Iris. I don't get too strong of an iris note from it. I get something. There's something lurking. There's a balminess about it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit, slightly animalic. Slightly. Did you say oud? Uh, there's actually oud, incense, and amber wood. Citrus is staying nice, easy, not sharp. Then it has woodsiness and spice, and um, a little, a little funky animal character, which people go for. You know, it's oh, not yeah, something totally that do. people are gonna be like, oh, oh what is that? Not, but it has a little something underneath that keeps it from being a boring banal fragrance. It's an interesting blend, but it is simple. 
It's very simple. It's one of those scents where, okay, so with a lot of fragrances in my collection, especially, and I keep bringing this up, but Fong Dang, their <laughs> scents, um, every time I smell them, I'm like, man, this is super complicated, very rich and complex. And I would smell it for like an hour, hours. And every five minutes, I smell something different. This one, the moment I smelled it, I spent five minutes with it and I'm like, yeah, I understand it. You know, it's a simple scent, but there's beauty in the simplicity. Absolutely, yeah. And it has a certain classiness about it too. Yeah. It's not in your face and um, yet yeah, has some character. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's a gorgeous scent. It's the opposite of one of my favorites from the house, uh, Honey Oud. Oud Honey. Love Honey Oud. Yeah. yeah. That's much more pronounced and thick and... Yeah. Such a good scent. And I wore that often this year. I wore oh. it a lot this year. This one, I would have a hard time... Rec yeah. So it's a little bit of a paradox here. I would have an easy time recommending it because I can see this getting people a lot of compliments. I can see this being, it, it's so easy to wear. Mm. But I would have a hard time recommending it because it's not pronounced in any category. So when somebody says, what is... Um, a great citrus. A great citrus. This isn't so heavy on the citrus right. that it's <laughs> the first fragrance that popped yeah. into my mind. So it's a nice even balance of everything, but it's such a simple scent. So... Uh, five hours longevity, incredibly versatile, suited for the summer. Anybody of any age, anybody of any sex can wear this. The price is also quite decent. I'm going to leave the links down below. Um, overall, I think it's a great scent. And uh, if, you if you have a chance to sample it, I would definitely recommend that you do so. So, uh, Carlos, thank you for having me over, bud. Always a really pleasure. appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And uh, once again, I'm going to leave Carlos's information down below. Thank so you. make sure to check him out. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'd be curious to know from my subscribers, um, what is your favorite citrus based scent um i know there's a lot of talk we just did a video on terre d'hermes which is touted as a great citrus scent and you said you get no citrus from it <laughs> i get vetiver vetiver yeah so vetiva with a capital v <laughs> <laughs> and i certainly get a lot of vetiver from it as well so thank you guys so much for tuning in remember to enable notifications by clicking on that bell this way you never miss any future content uh, and that includes reviews top tens giveaways unboxings special guests and a lot of other fragrance related content Thanks again for tuning in. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.